Hey girlies, it's Tammy. I'm back at you with a new video today. So today I wanted to come at you with a carnival inspired look. Um, I do have a little eye infection thing going on. So not infection, but like there's anyhow there's something wrong with my eye so i haven't been filming that much lately so i did a green and yellow type of look on my instagram so i decided to film another one just so it's out before carnival so today i wanted to do something a bit different so i'm going to be taking inspiration from the barbados flag which is uh blue and yellow and a bit of black so we're gonna see how this goes so i am wearing clothes but obviously at the angle that i'm filming at you obviously cannot see that so yeah but i am wearing clothes just so you know also makeup geek sent me a package i'm like over the moon for them to even recognize my work and then want me to use their products in my work i'm just blown away me oh thank you not only did they want to send me something but they sent me all of these so i don't really know what i'm going for today but i'm gonna try a little something, something so let me stop talking and start the look as you can see i've got foundation and eyebrows on already because this is going to be focusing on the eyes and the lips so i'm going to be using the nyx um eyeshadow base as usual oh yeah also makeup geek sent this cute little palette with um it says so many fingerprints on it but it says makeup geek so it's a magnetic palette and i've got the blushes and contours they sent me these two are contours and then these two are blushes if i don't set my eyes i feel like it gets too sticky and i can't blend colors well so i always set it so first dipping into my makeup geek chickadee wait let me check because i'm acting like i'm a pro with this makeup geek palette like i didn't oh that's right it's kind of a yellowy orange it's such a gorgeous shade and the more i build it up i'm just falling in love my first ever palette i ever brought i think it's 60 or 120 eyeshadows and i'm gonna take some of these yellows i'm not quite sure which one but some of them very chalky <laughs> but i hope this works so i love sleek eyeshadows they're the absolute best out of the drugstore eyeshadow type of situation so i'm gonna dip into this this navy blue and put this on the inner and outer corner i love my spotlight eyes i just feel comfortable doing them um they're just my favorite style of eye to wear so that's what i'm gonna be doing today so i'm just gonna put this right here I'm just going to join it together like that and then I can go in and make it a bit more pigmented just by patting. So then I'm going to take another clean brush, well clean-ish, you know, I've wiped it off and then I'm just going to blend in the crease. So blend the yellow and the blue ever so slightly together. something like that so now i'm just gonna wet my brush a little bit so i'm gonna take this makeup geek foiled eyeshadow in the shade fortune teller which is a lovely yellowish gold and i'm just gonna place that on the center of my lid which is stunning and of course back in with a tiny bit of the blue to blend them together sorry no extra product on the brush just gentle brush strokes okay so i'm going to take a tiny bit of corrupt which is the dark black just a matte black by makeup geek and i'm just going to barely touch a tiny bit because i don't want to change the color of the blue but i'm just going to put a tiny bit of this on the outer v and kind of wing it out okay so i did my other eye off camera and while i was doing it i decided to add a tiny bit of makeup geek peacock which is this gorgeous blue shade here and it just added a you know when the camera picks up things that are not there in real life i literally hate it yeah so i picked up a tiny bit of keep keep the look keep the look 
I picked up a tiny bit of peacock and I just put it on my outer and inner corner just to make it a tiny bit more blue because the navy was kind of looking a bit black. I'm going to be taking the Venus 2 palette by Lime Crime and the shade Mustard which is this one right here. I'm just going to pop it right on top of the blue. So obviously I also took a tiny bit of the fortune teller eyeshadow again and put it on my inner corners and now I'm just going to put a tiny bit of eyeliner on. I'm going to take my LA Splash Architect eyeliner and do a big wing. Well not huge but a big wing. I'm going to drag it out. So nothing too crazy, more like a dramatic um, half wing but on the inner corner I'm going to keep it really close to my lash line. So to clean up my wing I'm just going to be taking a tiny bit of a cream concealer. I was about to clean up my eyebrows. <laughs> so now I'm just going to complete my face off camera and then I'll be back to finish the eyes. Okay girls I got a tiny bit carried away. I accidentally did my contour like I was just sitting there watching lovely tea on YouTube, catching up on my tea. So I did use the two Makeup Geek contour colours. Um, I'm going to use a blush today. I think this one because, yeah. Also, I put on eyelashes. I just double stacked two of my synthetic ones um, from Lovable Lashes. So if you're after cheap lashes, definitely check out lovablelashes.org. It is my brand. So, yeah. Okay, so Makeup Geek sent me eyeliners, like I said, so I'm going to use this bright blue. Why not? I feel like something different on the waterline. So we're going to try this out and see if it's pigmented. That is gorgeous. That is so pigmented. I, I hope you girls can see that. That is ooh, so vibrant. Can't wait to see if it lasts this is amazing i'm so happy so yeah i'm just gonna smoke it out with a tiny bit of the navy or should i leave it like that i really mm. Mm. so i'm gonna smoke it out with a tiny bit of peacock by makeup geek as well on my inner corner just to make it a bit more intense oh i love it so now I'm going to be taking blush and like I said I'm going to be taking this blush by Makeup Geek which is called Chivalry. That is gorgeous. Hope you can see that. You can't? Okay, don't worry. I'll put more. It's carnival so we can go all crazy. And yeah, we are on to lipstick and then we're done. Obviously, I'm going to put a wig on, but. <laughs> this is literally my daily struggle. What lipstick to wear? What if I did blue lip liner? Am I going too, too crazy for you guys? I'm going too crazy. There's no harm in trying. If it doesn't work, then I could just always take it off, you know? But I just feel like doing something crazy. So, so far that's what Colourpop Jellies looks like and I really actually like it. I wish I had a colour that was the same colour as my eyes to put on the centre of my lips but I don't so we're just going to use Era by D. Benoit, no it's not D. Benoit, <laughs> I always say that, D. Benoit um, Hera which is a rose gold. I'm hoping this works, if not we try a different thing. And just to be extra, I might as well go all out now. I'm going to take the same yellow shade I have on my eyes and put that on the centre of my lips. I'm also going to take a tiny bit of my... Why not? <laughs> I'm crazy already. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of my Unique Beauty Press Glitter. This is the shade Gold Coast. So I'm just going to take a dab of that and put it on my lips as well. Now in real life, this lipstick looks bomb, like it looks crazy good, but I'm not sure how it's translating on camera, so if it looks stupid or crazy, then I don't care. 
Do you know what would look so cool if you just did, if you can't do eyeshadow or you don't feel comfortable doing eyeshadow, doing this to your lips with nothing on the eyes will be a statement in itself. Um, so you could either do the eyes with a nude lip or this lip with nude eyes. It would look perfect together. I think it looks a bit crazy and too much, but hey ho. It's a lot. It's a lot, but I love it. So I'm just going to wipe this off and put another lip colour on just so you can see how it looks natural. So I'm going to take this brown lip liner by Colourpop. It's called K, so it's from the K, Rucci and Colourpop collab. I got this from Diva Approved London. So if you're in the UK and you want to grab this lip liner, check out divaapprovedlondon.co.uk and see if you can grab it. So I'm colouring in majority of my lips with this because I'm going in with a very light nude shade. So I'm going to be taking, so this new brand, new Instagram brand called Renegade Cosmetics. They have lipsticks for $5. $5, which I think now translates to about £4 something. So it's amazing. I'm going to use this shade called 86, which is a really, really pale nude. I don't even know if this is going to go together, but we're going to try some, something. something. I just love this shade so much because paired with a brown yeah so paired with a brown liner it just mutes out the lips so perfectly but I I like love this shade love this shade so if you wanted you could add a gloss but I don't think I'm going to am I no I'm not I can't be bothered no no so I'm going to leave the look like this, but like I said, I love the lips if you're not down for the eyes. I think this is a gorgeous look for Carnival. Whatever you're rocking to Carnival girls, please be safe. Please have fun. Do not get too drunk because obviously I've been Carnival before. People be on the floor, passed out. It's, it's crazy. I'm not going myself this year because I feel like I'm getting too old. I'm not down for it anymore. I'd rather just stay home, drink a bottle of wine and watch Netflix that is def definitely a sign of getting old so definitely if you're going girlies have fun make sure you bring your flags your rags something to jump up and wave okay yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video take care of yourself girlies bye